So like we do live in Tampa. Yep. Um, one of my uh, Bay Area. One of my biggest arguments, or not really argument, just a revelation that I've had um, this last weekend is, I get roasted a lot. I get roasted a lot. They call me uh, the Ebor King. <laughs> with one you are the Ebor King, man. Fuck you guys for that. You are the Ebor King. But I get called the Ebor King. Why? I just I like Ebor. I like Ebor a lot better. Um, maybe because when we were younger, we used to go to clubs there. But now we're older, so like, I like bar hopping out there. I think it's, it's a lot better. It's a lot more fun. You know, I mean, we've gone out. We went out. Um, I actually went out a lot last weekend. Um, oh. So I went to uh, both Ebor and Soho, which is like the standard staple of Tampa. Mm-hmm. And Downtown, but like, you know, here and there. But my thing is, you know, I got a lot of shit, man. I got a lot of shit for being called the motherfucking Ebor King. Which you two always used to bag on me. Every time, like, yeah. let's hit yeah. Ebor, laugh Ebor at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come you on. go to like every club, and Nick was there, like the final boss. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was, like, any club it any was, club. whether it was Monkey <laughs> Bar, <laughs> whether it was Cody <laughs> Ugly, <laughs> whether it was Piranha. Zarr. You go to the fifth. Oh Zarr. You go to the yeah, fifth. See. You go to the fifth floor. Piranha. Piranha. You see Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yo. Yeah. Yeah, yo, you yo, reached the it. bubble party. Remember the bubble party? The bubble party. Yeah, I was the. Yo, um, the ball party like this man, bro. The bubble boss. Just stand there, just like half his body was like covered in, like bubbles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 then you were like nasty. this. Yo, yeah, girls are like, yo, I think she does with him. <laughs> Final boss. I was the final <laughs> boss. All right, whatever, man. Fuck y'all. I was back in the day, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, man. So I feel like Ebor gets a bad rep, um, just mainly because of the club scene, I guess. Um, which yeah. I didn't have a problem with back back in my young days. But I'm just saying, in general, as a you know more grown vibe. Yep. Bar more. seems the bar the bar seems not bad. T, come on, back me up on this. No. I think it, it depends. You know, you gotta. Depends who you go out with. You know, if I'm no, with the Ebor okay. King, it's you bound to be a good time. I ain't no tour guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all can't book no so tours. So you see this little <laughs> section right here? <laughs> yeah. This is where I... <laughs> These little chicken coots crossing the road. And, you, know. <laughs> you see these chicken coots? Yeah. You see what they all lay there? Yeah, shit went down there. If you notice, the Spanish uh, bar in the cut is where you take your side chicks. <laughs> like, <there's> a, <laughs> just... It has the right lighting where you can't really see their it's face. It's dim, then everybody's smoking and drinking. Uh. And, and uh, listen to the table all day. <laughs> and they're all taken, which is absolutely insane to me. Whatever, we'll talk about that. Yeah, but I think just me having an overall good time out there, um, I want to combat with, um, even though I am Ebor King, we have Mr. Soho. Uh, so correspondent. Um, so, so I don't know a lot of people, if you've never been to Soho and this is for people that, you know, type in, Oh my God, what to do in Tampa. Right. Um, Soho is definitely a good place to go for the nightlife. Um, but there are, there, there are staples, there are trademarks, right? So when you go to Ebor, there's a guy that licks shoes. Um, and there's people with snakes that you can take pictures with. They're They're like the staple. (laughs) As a staple. Oh, there's more than just that. There's, there's more things, but there's, there's just two I can think off the top of my head. And then you have... In Soho, there's this really one old guy that looks like Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Hugh Hefner. Hugh, he Hugh Hefner's ugly. Live, he probably Hugh, lives there. Hugh Hefner's ugly brother, and you have um, Will. So those are the two. <laughs> those are the two staples. Those are the two staples of Soho. Yo, man, this guy's nuts, bro. This guy is absolutely crazy. So yes, when I go to Soho, I follow Will. I go, Will. Where Where does the wind take us? He flutters his ears, <laughs> and, and off we go. <laughs> No man, I do. I do once I take a, I take a beer, you know, take a pulse of the beer. Uh, you know, I lick my, my finger and like this. I'm like, this is where we're he he throws the beer can and we watch where it rolls. Where it rolls. Yo, yo, man, mm, I'm gonna have it one time, bro. It was a good time. Yeah, funny. it went to the, the right way. <laughs> so, but my point is, <laughs> Ebor is way better than Soho. <coughs> it has to be. As a Soho correspondent, and uh, shout out to all my Soho lights. Nah, man. I think Soho is like the better move as far as like for our like age group. You know, it's like it's a place that you can like. You know, it's more for socializing. Mm. Ebor is more of like 
yo, like, oh, she got butt. Like, I'm getting that. Like, no, oh, see, like, okay, she's no, no, solid. No, 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 I get no. that. I'm not talking about the Ebor club scene. I'm talking about the Ebor bar scene. I mean, the bar. Okay, so Soho, it's literally like a uniform. It's like college kids or like bro, literally bro folk who wants to be young. And uh, Ebor is more like, I could be a biker. I could be old. I could be like extremely young. Eight, I could be 18. It's, it's a melting pot. It's a, it's literally okay. Ebor is literally a melting pot yeah. of everything that has been and will be in Tampa. Mm. Yes, for sure. Yeah, you'll have, you'll find a lot of wild things there. It's a must see though. It is a must. Right, see. If you have I'll one, you but if you have one night in Tampa and you want to go out, where would you recommend somebody to go? Damn, you got me. Yeah, okay. I don't, don't want to say it, but so, so, so it could be hit or miss, man. Yeah, it's a hit or it, miss. It depends, it's yes, bro. Yeah, I mean, so like right now is extremely trash. I mean, so like probably two, th- well, probably three years ago. I know, and I'll come back. I'll come back, and uh, I'll defend. I'll play, um, you know, devil's advocate a little bit. But Soho, you guys used to have Lodge, which I think was used to be the starter. Mm-hmm. Lodge was the starter Lodge, for sure, yeah. but I feel like the closer was Drink. So. Mm-hmm. You would have be yo. You would have missed if you were starting there and ending there. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yo, I think drink losing. Last nice was on Wednesday. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Yeah. Drink. Yo, man. R.I.P. Man. I wish I gave you. I wish I gave y'all more money, but I knew all the bartenders. Yeah. But <laughs> see, y'all bouncers were letting too many girls in for free. Mm. That's what happens. That's true. <laughs> that is true too. <laughs> and they just try to double up on the boyfriend. Like, yo, mm. slime me at forty. You let that girl go through for free though. Like what the fuck? So that's that's how it was. So I mean Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, but I love drink. So that but now amazing, but now I feel like you you're standing with two two bars really in mm-hmm. Soho. Mm-hmm. And it's McDittons and then Soho Saloon is just I new. mean Yard of Ale's there, you no. know, Yard of no. Ale's No. No. Uh, Yard of Who? Yeah. Yard of me. Yard of who? Yard of, me. Yard of lady. Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa. Don't, nah. ever, don't ever do that again. Bro, yeah. that's not even, that's not even, no. No one goes there. Yard of Ale. And then they have, um, you know, World of Beer, you know, just for the, No. For we've the never, shop. we've never gone there. I've been there. there. I've had some couple of instances that I was there. Nah. It's for older folk, I, I, you nah. know. World of Beer know, is, is a commercial you know. place that you go to in, in any city near you. Yeah. So, I, th- I don't know. I think Ebor's the way to go. You Cheap. have... You have gas bars. Gas bars grotto is what is, has grotto. to be. Has to Yo, be a top solid. five, top five best, 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 like brunches, Sunday brunches. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna have a hit, hit a guys brunch. Right, can we do that? Yeah. We're gonna do a guys brunch. Yeah, can, we, can we do that? Maybe not next week. Maybe, let's put it out in like three weeks. Three weeks. Damn, bro. Yeah. Wait, wait, actually, wait, wait till he gets back. Wait till he gets back from Dubai because he's gonna have a lot of money. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What have you been doing? Ooh. He's gonna be out there moving. So, out the section. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, no, we'll we'll do definitely that. But I'm we have kind of ready for that. We have though. gas bars. Yeah. We have um, what's it called? Ugly Coyote. We have the Bad Monkey. Yep. Um, we have that what that one that uh Steve likes. It's the one with the smoothies up top, the rooftop bar. Smoothies on top. It's like a it's like a slushy drink Any thing. Bar? Yeah, it's yeah, at the roof. Oh, by the movies up top. Yeah, up top. Oh, uh, uh, Centro. 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 Yeah, yeah, I like Centro. Yeah. That's true. yeah. True. But see, there's like so Centro. many. There's so many things. And then if you know what, if you're not feeling it and you want to go dance, the club is right there. Soho. What type of clubs you got? If McDittens, if the DJ's hitting some bullshit, then you're done. The whole night's over and you're stuck. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right now, Soho only has like three things going for them. It's cheap. It's never so been, so been there. You never, 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 never been cheap? Never been cheap? Nope. Cheap, you never man. had the sushi nope. there? Nope. But never see, had... you're talking about food. Okay, but, about but it has bars. other things. It has specials. It has music from a DJ. It has all that, too. But never it's been a, there. It's a sit-down. But see, if the, all the time Ooh, all the time you've been gone. So you're too much in, the, in, in your fucking Ebor bag. I'm so... I'm I've gone to Soho with you. All right, next time, let's go. And you tell you tell the boys to rally up at Cheap's. Don't say it like that. Like, Cheap's ain't it. I've never been there. I've never, have, have you heard of it? They, they, they have other things there too. They have like, you know, the, like the outside bars, like bars that not a lot of people know about. And they're like, they're cool too. All right. Then you know what? Next time let's go to Soul. Let's just go to the no name bars. We don't let's hit McDonald's. Like yeah, let's do it. I swear to God, let's do it. Mm. And I will prove you wrong. You prove me wrong. I'll prove you wrong. So, we're, so what, what, what is there to prove? Do you have something that's no, just, e- Ebor that I don't know? Let's just conclude Ebor won. So yeah, if you're listening, 
just check out Ebor. I think Ebor's a way better a better vibe. It's it's definitely a more lucrative vibe as far as like mm-hmm. you'll see anything and everything there. Whether what Soho is more like a uniform vibe, yeah. like you'll see college and older people. And Ebor has a lot of older people too, yeah, but yeah. way too old to be out. So there yeah, Ebor is great. Real quick disclaimer: If you're a girl, do not go by yourself. Um, <laughs> um, and don't do don't, not ever go by yourself. And don't go to any alleyways. All right. Anyways, after, don't now we get arrested for no reason. <laughs> be like in the commercials, they'd be like, "Hey, this this, this, this drug is great." <laughs> <laughs> but if you do it, you may die. Like, no, no. All right. So there, there is, there is risk. Oh, I forgot. Ebor does have like you know the, the adult bag too, as far as like um, improv. Yeah, there's like this. Yeah, they have a comedy. You know, they have a comedy. You know, you get, a, you, get a, you know, you get a ticket. You're like, yo, like I'm gonna treat her, you know, right? Like, sure. oh, and then after that, you're like, you know, what do you wanna do, mom? Go upstairs. Go and you grab a drink. They even have them um, like a game, central. the game place. Yeah, the game oh, place. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like, game yeah. time. Like a game time yeah. thing, and, and you can go there and you can play some games and like. All right, man. Well, I'm just saying. Then see, so come on, look. Yeah. Again. Okay. What do you have? Are you gonna hit the pizza joint? You gonna hit Jimmy John's and uh? You gonna hit Jimmy John's? Yeah. Come on, man. Hey. You're gonna hit the Walgreens. You're gonna hit Win Dixie. Come on, man. I mean, if you need a bag, you no. Know, That's what I'm saying. Go get a bag. Ebor wins hands down. I want to say hands down, but hands down. as hey. of, as of right now, he's giving me a very compelling argument. Listeners, please, please, in the comments or even in our DMs, please tell me I'm right. Please, in the comments, write Soho or write Ebor. And let us know what you think. Y'all guarantee it'll be 25 and under. We got analytics. <laughs> <laughs> we got analytics. I don't feel like, yo, like, you know, I got like a kid. I got, you know, I got like a lot of things going on. I just want like a one night only. Because I can just do my thing. So I was the bag. Are you saying all of Tampa? Yeah. I'm well, arguing. downtown has a lot of things too. But I'm ar- I know, but I'm. Yeah, I'm downtown, arguing, downtown does have a lot of things, but I mean, we're not doing that right now. But. This is between us. It's between Soho correspondent and the Ebor King. And the Ebor King. Can we crop like a crown on my head? Can we not ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> Can we not ever give this guy this gluttonous justification? 